on the edge of Yellowstone National Park, a remarkable sighting. Bringing together indigenous tribes from across the West, the birth of a rare white bison, so sacred to the people here, it's thought to fulfill an ancient Lakota tribe prophecy. Today, the miraculous birth being commemorated with ceremony, song, and for the first time, the reveal of a name. Wakangli returns sacred. It's a blessing, but it's a warning. Lakota Chief Avril Looking Horse says in tribal lore, it's similar to the second coming and part of a personal lifelong journey. This is a spiritual awakening. It's a fulfillment of our prophecy. It's our responsibility to you know, take care of Mother Earth. This spiritual connection to the bison they share the land with runs deep, representing strength and abundance to indigenous cultures. Herds that once numbered in the millions are now managed in Yellowstone at about 5,000 after being hunted to near extinction across the country. And here, there is no record of a white bison being spotted, that is, until now. It seemed unreal that I just was so lucky to be one of maybe a dozen people that got photographs of this thing. Photographer Jordan Creech captured these images of the white-haired calf the day it was born on June 4th. I know how important it is to the native culture to have been able to capture that. This I'm happy I could share it. The elusive animal has not been seen since, but to the tribes gathered here, it doesn't matter if it's ever seen again. What's important is its birth, serving both as a symbol of hope and prosperity and a reminder of how we should all treat each other. This brings tears into my eyes every time I think about it because this shouldn't happen in our time, and it, it did. This gift of life and the blessing of a new beginning. Steve Patterson, NBC News, Yellowstone National Park. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.